everybody it's carol here bringing you another video today i've made this really cute little banner it's got five little gingerbread men and the banner punch with love embossed on it i'll show you how i've done it i really like it it's going to fit on my fireplace um so let me show you how i did it what i need what you need is um, I've used the copper trim because I thought that was really nice and I've also used the jut, the burlap ribbon. So I've used 25 inches of each which is quite a lot but it looks really good. So 12, 24, 25, see so if I cut that there, get rid of that. Then the other one, I'll just I'll show you what I did. I've used really thin red tape. I know Stampin' Up! don't sell it. Oops. But this is what I've got at the minute. It's not very good. Oh, it sticks, but it's, it wants to come away. Look, as you can see. So what I did is I just... Placed it in the middle there. Right. Can you please just go down? Okay, it was a lot easier off video, of course. And then it'll be easier. Let me turn it around. get it sorted <laughs> oh, I'm very excited I've just um, I'm doing an event in February at Jewelry's Inn again in uh, Hinkley I've just found my contact and said instead of one of the um, with loads of breaks with cakes and biscuits I said instead of one of those because we had talked about it at our meeting and she said oh we could have that on the final day we could have lots of uh, sweets we could have a sweet station I said can we have it on both days I said because we have way too you know there's a breakfast break there's a, a mid-morning break with biscuits or danishes there's an afternoon lunch which is lovely and there's biscuits or cakes in the afternoon and then there's dinner at night and it's last time I did it it was just too much there was just if I can say it you know there was beautiful like gattos and cakes and there was just too much food so and she said yes of course you can Carol which is a good answer isn't it so today is going to be, of course you can, Carol. So anything I want to do today, I'm going to have a positive response to, of course. So I'm just following the line of that red tape with this copper trim. I'll show you at the end. Oh, I've missed missing. It just fits this nicely this red tape that's deciding to play me up but that's okay right this copper trim is that is um the stuff that you can do that with yeah make it into shapes and but i didn't want to i wanted it just to be well i've used it nearly all now um just wanted it to have that effect on it because it's gingerbread right so that's my ribbon sorted okay now the gingerbread men i have to four of them so i've only got one to do so the gingerbread man comes from the cookie cutter christmas set there he is you've got father christmas a reindeer a bear that you can make up um and an eskimo so i've used crumb cake card and crumb cake ink and i also used my sponge i'm using this a lot today my sponge mat so i just inked him up and then i put him there 
cookie cutter die die punch I'm going to sneeze again <coughs> so sorry that's the second video I've sneezed on today I'm really sorry um, and I can't be coming down with the cold I just can't so as you can see I've got loads out of that piece of card there he is um, what else yes. so he needs some little um, what I've done with the others is give them some little buttons and I keep all my bits of glitter card and we have a punch which is a one-eighth circle punch so you can make so you put that into your card and I punch out as you can see look whole little circles and they are for things like this so just punch away get as much see instead of wasting it you've got all these little buttons now just stick some tombow on there and away you go you've got two little buttons which i think is really cute and yet again it's another way of using your punch to use it if you haven't got the right color rhinestones you could use that right the other thing i used was real red and the label punch this label punch is called best banner again i needed four of these i've already done three you don't want to watch me it's boring so punch one of those out if that happens you see that comes out you need it to be at the top if it's open so you need to push it in and you need to twist it my husband does this better than me there you go push it down now when you close it you can yeah so if it does come out that's what to do that's quite good right what i'd used for this was the love from the labels oh, labels to love stamp set i just wanted love on the banner so that's what i've used so i used some versamark now you do sometimes get a line there but i don't actually mind it looks all rustic and I quite like it so I've used the copper to go with the ribbon um, powder see what I mean but I really like it if I didn't I would be brushing it off um, heat gun just for a second hang on watching that bit disappear and change right so i've got four of those i've got five little gingerbread men and i'm going to try and use my fast fuse again right so i'll do them all at once so once i get my fast fuse going i'm just going I had it working. There you go. I don't know what it is. I keep getting it caught. Look there. I'm not quite sure why. It's got to be me because there's been so many write ups about this and how to use it and how not to use it and there you go see that one work oh right let's get him down because he's got his glue there right so i put him there and i put that one out there right see 
what happens is I get it stuck on this side and then it just so if you do have trouble with your fast fuse there are some videos on YouTube showing you how to sort it <laughs> but look I don't know it is on offer at the minute buy one get two refills free um, so might be worth giving it another go I'm just assembling I've done all the work um, so that you didn't have to watch me do loads and loads so this one might be not needing I haven't maybe spaced it as much because I've got a bit left there but that's okay I can just cut that off or if I wanted to I could just move them around a bit so I now have two banners to put up I might put one up at the window um, and one up so yeah I haven't spaced them out quite but it doesn't matter I can put one up at the window and one up at the banner and I'll see which one fits I'll cut it accordingly so I hope you like that little project um, you can make all your own home decor decorations and it can be so personal um, you know you could have put people's names in these you could you could do all sorts of things so I hope you like this little video I've enjoyed making these banners I hope you have a go at making them take care bye